Hello everybody, we're back to Until Dawn and just when I was going to start recording I got this weird camera angle, I don't know what happened. It's just like a... Uh, what, what's going on? <laughs> Is there supposed to be a jump scare? Oh! Oh hang on, if you stand still for too long do you get a close up of their face? You've ruined my intro, I got confused. Uh, what was I saying? Yes, welcome back to Until Dawn. Playing it through blind, getting confused by things. I know we're supposed to go down here but that immediately makes me want to go and see what's over here. Didn't he tell me to go over here first to put on a generator anyway? Or that's on the bottom floor, perhaps. Alright, there's nothing there. Let's go. Against all oh, sense of logic, we're going out at night up to a guest cabin to have some privacy to have sex, apparently. That's what I believe to be happening right now. I'm pretty sure we got told to put on the generator first, but did he mean up at the place or here? Well, we'll be able to tell in a second if there's only one path. This way, this way. Oh, or hang on, are we going over the f Ah, we are, so hang on, what's over here then? Burr, it is freezing out here. Now that's something I can help you with. And how are oh, you hang on. Hmm. Uh, I got a few things in mind. Maybe there was something I could do here then. Did I miss the chance? Uh, I might have missed the chance. I thought we were hopping the fence or something. Damn. Right, well, it's not a clue. Also, ice cream van in the background. Uh, it wasn't a clue. Does that make the game creepier? Having the ice cream van music? <laughs> I'm not sure. It's super loud. I don't wish to startle you, but I think we might have a clown. I don't know why I associate ice cream. Oh, ice cream van noises with clowns. Kind of a bummer. That's a terrible place for a sign. Who's going to see that? No one, that's who. Also, I'm getting the names confused a little bit. Emily is his ex-girlfriend, not this lady. Oh. Emily's as dumb as she looks if she thinks she can cut in on what we got going on. Maybe if we're lucky, she'll try and follow us out here and get eaten by a bear. <laughs> yeah, you were not doing anything with her, you can agree. I think you bring out the worst in her. Is that so? Epic jealousy. Suck it. That didn't really flow, but whatever. Charitable went down. Ah, because that was a chance to, you know, ease up, I guess. Okay. I understand. I don't agree, but I understand. Huh. Guess this thing needs Busted. Didn't Josh oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this will provide power. Oh, hang on, that's a totem. That's definitely a totem. So what color is this one? Mike, generator. Be quiet, oh, Jess. I'm busy. Well, that's red. That's death, isn't it? Oh. Hang on. Let's take a little bit of a better look at that one. Oh no, that's danger. Sorry, black is death. Okay. So that's someone being in danger. That was definitely that's Ashley being punched by a member of Slipknot. Yeah, that's, that's definitely her being punched a lot. <laughs> I can just keep on replaying it and watching her getting punched over and over. If only that was Emily. Alright. I'm not sure how I feel about Ashley yet. She seems nice. So I don't really want that to happen to her, so hopefully we can avoid it. Although she was still part of the cruel prank, wasn't she? So, alright, generator. All right. Let's see. Boom. Nice one, Mike. Uh, R2, and then back again, and then again. Oh wait, no, you've got to do it more than once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We have one light on. Uh, what is with this camera angle? This is a jump scare. Yeah, I knew it. Okay. Hey, there's a there's a dude behind the the house there. Victor. Let's go back in. You still there? Yeah, anytime there's a forced camera change, which does not seem natural, it is almost certainly because the game is going to try and scare you. Very, very obvious as well. That's why I, th I thought, at the start of the video, I thought I'd accidentally waited too long so I was going to see something that maybe I shouldn't have and it was like an Easter egg or something, but no. So it also just does it if you stand still too long, but yeah, that, that was definitely, it was a sudden jarring change. It was a good camera angle, they're very atmospheric. Gates shall open. 
You know what would have been better? I'll wait until they finish talking. Awesome. Oh yeah, I bring the hit. <laughs> what would have been better is rather than just having Victor standing at the window staring at them, which makes no real sense. Oh, sorry, screen van again. They should have had him walk past the window. That would have been creepy. You still would have had your jump scare that apparently you want so badly. And it would have been creepier because you would have only got a passing glimpse. In my opinion. Just having him constantly stare. I mean, it's also... Oops, I pressed R1 by mistake. It's also just showing that he enjoys staring at people. He's still technically done nothing wrong apart from the arson however many years ago. And it looked like he was trying to save the sisters in the start. I think they'd clean it up. Well, they never closed the investigation. Okay, I'm getting the creeps now. What do you remember? I hope they're at peace. Well, you both weren't there when it happened, so let's go respectful. Well, wherever they are, I'm sure they're happy we're all thinking about them. That's a nice way of thinking about it. I bet that's dishonest. I bet honesty goes down. Oh, roman romantic went up. And Jess is in the red, but in a positive sense. Okay. So I think he's in there. Why did romantic go up when I was remembering my dead friends? <laughs> it's weird. Very weird. But that's fine. You can deal with weird. Oh. Is that a scream or a roar? Did you hear that? I heard something. Yeah. See, this is where horror movie logic takes over. You hear that in real real life? You run a bloody mile. I don't think we can get up to the cabin with a path block like this. Oh, no way am I going back to the lodge, a.k.a. Wax Museum, to drink hot chocolate with Emily. <laughs> you dumbass. Yes! Fuck! Hey, Jessica! Yep! Hey! It's not that okay. big a drop. Holy crap, you scared the heck out of me. How do you think I felt? Uh, <laughs> you didn't hit your head or anything. As far as I can tell, I still have all seven of my limbs. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Wait. Does she have a penis? I don't know. I can hardly see anything down here. Cautious, push the cart. Heroic, I'll jump down. Yeah, heroic. Be a man, etc. Oh, butterfly effect, so something changed there then. Oh, hello, Victor. There's a guy up there. His name's Victor. He's an arsonist. So, hang on. Butterfly effect and status changed there. Mike came to Jessica's aid immediately. Jessica appreciated his heroism. And then also this changed. Bravery went up and romance went up. And that was already up, so that's fine. So again, he was just doing the whole watching you stuff for some reason. Something else that would have been spooky and, you know, less just jump scary, have his shadow on them a little bit. And neither of them notice. This is not what I pictured. <laughs> why do they have to go through a mine to get to the guest cabin? I, I, they said it was blocked off, but why? <laughs> a normal person would just go back. So leaking water there? Hmm. Oh. Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, oh holy ah. crap! I wonder what would have happened if I didn't press that. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. See, maybe he wouldn't have tried to stop it. He wouldn't have got a sore back. Oh, it made them look behind them, if nothing else. Nelly, this place is giving me the willies. And so hang on, the cart away. came from this way. <laughs> and there's nothing here. Oh wait. Oh, a totem. Okay. What color is this? White, so that's good, right? What the hell? Hmm. 
Fortune, a prophecy for good... F what? Prophecy of good fortune. That's her waking up semi-naked covered in blood and cuts and stuff. On some kind of metal graying. In what way is that good? Okay. Oh, I didn't actually... Was that him again? I didn't look properly. <laughs> hmm. So apparently it's a good thing if I somehow make it that while semi-undressed she wakes up on a bit of metal. That would lead to good fortune if I make sure that comes to pass. Alright, I'll try and remember that. We're still watching out for someone potentially getting set on fire, for Ashley getting punched in the face by Slipknot, and I think there was one other thing, but I can't remember what. Huh. Stogie. Oh, Stogie. Cigar. <laughs> so hang on. Oh yeah, I didn't look back at these. I mean, I read them at the time, but there we are. It looks like it was left recently. There must be someone else up on the mountain. His name is Victor. How can you not know this? Oh, Dreamcatchers. Mystical symbol of something. Strange symbols painted onto the wall of the mine. It's not clear what they mean. Well, the Dreamcatchers, I understand. The that, I don't. You've got to be Native American, right? I don't think the miners were getting there. Oh. You all right? Yeah. Close one. Didn't mean to cut out that conversation they were having. I didn't know that was going to happen. So. Time to go. Oh, shiny. Okay. So this is related to 1952. A map showing structural faults in the mine marked up by a mine engineer. It looks like the owners knew there was a risk of collapse. Hmm. So maybe they did it anyway and got innocent people killed? Maybe that's why Victor then set fire to the place. It wasn't anything to do with the fact he got fired after all. But that would put him at, what age did it say it was? He was in his 50s. That might match up. If he was in his 50s in the 90s. And that said, what, 52? No, he would have been too young. Maybe. Hmm. Oh. It's over here. Is that another totem? It is another totem. Okay then. Help me out here, old totem prophecy god. So that's brown. Oh, god. So that's loss. That appears to be... It's her, right? I keep on forgetting his, his current girlfriend's name. Jess, right? That's Jess falling onto the metal thing and dying, whereas on this one, she gets up on it and is fine. And she's wearing the same clothes, which is to say very little. Yep. So... That's two versions of the same event, then. Okay. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure how I'm supposed to make sure one of those two things happens. Stop her from climbing something, maybe? Or... What is that? Why would that be there? Hmm. I guess the tracks are buried. No shinies, no shinies. Well, well. When Josh said cabin, I felt like Abe Lincoln. <laughs> Where do you see the Lincoln bedroom? Oh, are you planning on getting presidential on me? Uh, take a ride on Air Force One. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Oh, a telescope. Gonna look at the trees, gonna look at the clouds, gonna look at the cabin. Um, whoa. You all right? 
he just saw someone at the cabin. They already did the jump scare with the telescope thing. They're not going to do that again, are they? Jump scare, jump scare, jump scare, jump scare, jump scare, jump scare, jump scare. Oh! I watched that back on the recording window. I still don't know what that was. Hey, Jess? Mm-hmm? Stay close by, okay? What's up? Uh... This posting says there's some... A legendary carnivore, this powerful predator is known to attack elks, caribou, and any stricken animal they come across. What? Let's go hug a bear. Come is there any information here on how to handle them in case there's some kind of animal cutie? Often found near rivers, mountain streams, they attack. Uh, Grizzly bears attacks on humans remain rare. And then the elk, nothing of interest really. You're not going to talk about whatever that was that showed up on the the thingy when you looked through it? No? You're not going to mention you saw a weird. some kind of face. I don't know if it was. I don't think it was Victor's face. No, well, apparently we don't give a shit. Okay, well. <laughs> you don't care, I don't care. Characters must remain oblivious for as long as possible. I hope this is the right way because we appear to be going down now. I guess. Hmm. She's walking this way as well, so I assume I'm still going the right way. But I guess we shall see. Oh, there's an elk. Hello there, elk. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and a bastard bird. Witty or annoyed? I'm annoyed. Rats with wings? Oh, poor Mikey. Did the little birdie get your panties all bunched up? These are gross. Like diseases and shit. They make hot dogs out of them. So my bravery have gone down, right? My funny went down. I'm kind of glad that Bravery didn't go down, because that was him getting startled, it wasn't him being afraid. I mean, that's why I don't like jump scares, because they startle you, they don't make you fear. Although you can, I suppose you can fear the occurrence of them, but that's not quite the same thing. Shiny? No, no shinies. Oh wait. So cabin is indeed this way. Damn it, Josh. You have at least cleared out the path before sending us up here. <laughs> really? What? I didn't figure you for the glass half empty type. You got a better idea? Stand back, Debbie Downer. <laughs> oh, boo! Show off. Hey, Mike. You've got something on your face. Ah! Boo! Okay. Okay. That's how it's gonna be! Oh. Jess? Jess! Okay, I think you might want to run after her now. Okay, apparently not. Commercial break? So I haven't checked her stats for a little while, so let's see, how's Sam changed? Not at all. Butterfly effect, any new things? Nope. Okay. So her goal is get hot water. Oh, no, that's not a shiny. Well, it is, but it's a natural shiny. Fair enough. Ah, I didn't actually hear what she heard because I've got the volume down too low. If it was a scream, then she's really stupid for not reacting more than that. Which way am I going? Where is this? This was not open before when I was playing as Chris. 
Oh, is this going to be Hannah's bedroom or something? It's kind of spooky. Hannah, Josh and Beth, you are invited to Sam's Halloween party October 31st, 2013. Fancy dress obligatory. Other side? Ha 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 ha! Now that is interesting. Hang on, now where does that appear in here? An invitation to Halloween party. You're invited to Sam's Halloween party. So if you didn't see a previous part, the, the kind of fourth wall breaking sections where you're talking to a psychiatrist, he showed me that picture. And I said I wouldn't want to be there because I find Scarecrow's creepy. But I wouldn't mind being alone there if the Scarecrow wasn't there because it's just a nice, sunny thing. So I wonder, would that have been any different? Johan D. Smith, tattoo artist. So that is the tattoo that Hannah had. I remember noticing that, but I didn't point it out in the cutscene since people were talking. Is that relevant to anything? Also, how about cracking a light on or something? Oh yeah, I'm invading her privacy right now. I'm not sure I should be doing that, but at the same time she's dead, so... Okay, so Josh got her, uh... A... What do you call them? Music box. I would be delighted if you could attend my awesome party at 7pm at the location of Casa de Mike, my house, RSVP. Just remember, you played a part in that very cruel prank. Just like everybody else. You were all equally cruel to her. Oh no, hang on, who stood up for her? Oh, the other one that died. <laughs> Never mind. MMHW? Mike something and Hannah something. Mostly sees. Uh oh, this is not going to work. He's like a crazy, reckless hunk of a man, and you're staying at home working on your embroidery and practicing G minor on the piano. Give it up or something like really wild. Run away from home, get a tattoo or something, any, anything to attract his present. Oh. So sh Hannah did the love test with her and Mike, got mostly C's. The thing told her that one of the things that might work is go get a tattoo, so she did. Ooh, that is. That's pretty damn harsh. Well, I mean, if you look at it from the perspective of the prank he helped play on her afterwards. I still don't know why she deserved it. Like, are they ever going to go into detail about that? In the intro, someone said, isn't this cruel? And they said, no, or yes, but she deserves it. Why? That's really annoying me that they haven't given a reason. Is that just a gamey thing? Or is it that maybe she did do something to deserve it, and we'll find out about it later? And these camera angles are very strange. My money's on blankets for everyone. All right, peanut gallery, you know what? I got an idea for you two. What? Okay, well, I'm pretty sure that somewhere in this crazy place we used to have a spirit board. A what? Wow, you have a spirit board? Those things are a joke, man. They don't do shit. No way, bro. I mean, we used to do it all the time, me and... Well... Josh, no hot water's kind of major oversight, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, you just gotta fire up the boiler. It's in the basement. All right, you guys, see if you can find the spirit board. Chris, let's go find it. It'll be like... A... Are they talking about a Ouija board? Is that what they mean? And if so, why aren't they saying that? Is that copywriting or something? No, it can't be, because it's called that in Rebirth. Fancy putting on a light? No? Okay, just checking. So these are the stairs I could have gone down earlier with Chris when he was first exploring the house, but I didn't. So there might be something I missed down here. Notice how I gave Chris and Ash a mission together? Yeah, I was thinking they could use some alone time. Chris needs to go for it. They are sweet together. Yeah, they're sweet together. The two nerdy people, I think. Sweet together. I wish they'd just freaking get on with it already. I swear, they just need, like, 
something to bond over, you know, some sort of traumatic event to send them into each other. Uh, again, that's not a normal thing to say, but fine. Status update. Romantic went up. Ah, okay. I assume it would have went up even more before. Yet another picture of him. Oh, look, there's that tattoo I was talking about. That's very prominent in a lot of pictures of her. And I, I get it, it's a butterfly, butterfly effect. But will it have a deeper meaning than that? Just with his lovely sisters, Hannah and Beth. I always keep forgetting that Beth had a name. Because even, even though I was playing as her, everyone seems to mention Hannah for some reason. Another weird camera angle there. Thank you for politely waiting. Yes, Josh. I just wanted to say. Uh, what? I'll be right back. It really means a lot to me that everyone came back this year, and you know that you came, Sam. It's weird to be back. We're here for you. Well, it is. It is. Both these things are true. I'll reassure him. Although I still think there's something not right about him. Really, whatever you need. Whenever, we're all going to make it through this, together. Um, I want us to have a good time, you know? Fair enough, if true. Hey, watch your step. I think I can handle a little old set of stairs. Mm hmm Hmm, although we are at 26 minutes here, so I... Apologize if this is a bit of a cliff. Well, it's not really a cliffhanger, is it? Nothing amazing is happening this second. So we're going to call that part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I shall see you next time, hopefully. Until then, ta-ta for now.